Ganyel, South Sudan. Images of joy and warm hospitality greet the arrival of the head of the UN mission in the country. These innocent images, however, inadvertently mask the reality on the ground. Some 300 meters away from this singing and dancing, 11-year-old Ruach Majang Kuol lies writhing in pain at a makeshift medical center. We are just high ourselves under the tree and fighting the quillet in roof by fire and the, roof, and the Mayandit county. And gun just come and shoot the boy. We don't know where the gun has come. And it's those of government who come out and cheer us away from our home. Today, the head of the UN mission has come to see Ruach and others at this center where more than 40 victims are being treated for bullet wounds. A young 11-year-old boy named Ruach who had been shot through the, through the abdomen, um, he's 11 years old. Uh, I saw other children there who had also been shot, uh, a young girl who had lost part of her arm. Run by the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, the makeshift medical center in the opposition-controlled area is the only source of hope for the victims, 90% of them civilians. Uh, we receive most of the patients are uh, gunshot wound. Uh, most of our patients are uh, uh, civilian, but we receive also some I.O. A short helicopter flight away in Lier, Ghanaian peacekeepers are guarding a temporary protection area providing sanctuary to some 2,000 fleeing civilians. Mr. Shearer was here in Lier just over a month ago to see firsthand the impact of the fighting on civilians. Today he is back to see what has changed since he ordered a reinforcement of UN patrols in the area to better protect civilians under threat. The situation is still bad. Uh, there is still ongoing fighting, although it seems to have reduced um, a bit. But the most appalling thing that I'm, I'm hearing is the, the stories from people, uh, what's happened to them, uh, how, how they were targeted by, by soldiers. He is also meeting with area governors from the government and the opposition parties to the conflict and delivering the same strong message. I told them that the targeting of civilians is completely unacceptable. Uh, it's one thing to fight against each other for political or strategic military advantage. It's quite another thing to go into a village and shoot women and children and, uh, and burn their houses down. The conflict in South Sudan has become more complex than when it broke out in December 2013, says Shira. Several ceasefire agreements, including one signed just over five months ago, have been violated. Peace talks facilitated by IGAD, the Regional Intergovernmental Authority for Development, have been ending in stalemates too. On this trip, the head of the UN mission has been stressing the urgent need for a political solution to the conflict so civilians like Ruach can sing and dance to a happy song of durable peace. <laughs>